Hello, I'm Mike from Worcester Bosch Group. Over the years we've had many calls and queries regarding electrical errors for Worcester and third party controls. In this video I'll show you a simple 20 second polarity test to help resolve some common electrical issues. Before we start, please know that any work related to the boiler must be carried out by a gas safe registered engineer and any electrical work must only be carried out by a qualified electrician in accordance with IET wiring regulations BS7671. You must isolate the main supplies to the boiler before starting any work and follow all relevant safety precautions. Firstly, identify the circuit supplying the fuse spur and complete the safe isolation procedure to ensure the fuse spur is dead and lock off the protective device at the consumer unit. Then, uncoil and strip the cable. When stripping the cable, use a wire stripper and ensure the conductor is not damaged. Next, wire the cable into the correct connection by simply twisting and folding it before inserting. Please ensure the external copper conductor is not visible. Use the correct size screwdriver and ensure a tight connection. Ensure that the mains cable is secure and supported, while cables outside of the trunking must be kept a minimum of 25mm from the gas pipe. Ensure you have earth continuity between the fuse spur and the boiler. Then complete a short circuit test with your multimeter. To do this, set to the resistance scale, test between live and neutral, and then live and earth, and ensure there is no short circuit. Then refit the fuse spur and ensure the correct size fuse is fitted for the appliance. Return to the consumer unit and remove the locking device and reinstate the power. With the fuse spur now turned on, you need to test the terminals. These tests will determine whether you have correct or reverse polarity, or a broken neutral. The correct readings are live and neutral, 230 volts, between live and earth, 230 volts, and between neutral and earth, 0 volts. If you have reverse polarity, you will measure 230 volts between live and earth, 230 volts between neutral and earth, and 0 volts between live and earth. The nominal voltage supply is 230 volts AC, but can have a tolerance of plus 10% or minus 6%. If you do have reverse polarity or a broken neutral, identify and rectify the fault so the correct voltage and polarity readings are achieved. The test is as simple as that. For further installation advice and more hints and tips, please visit and subscribe to our YouTube channel.